So you went out and bought yourself a shiny, fat, new, or even used high capacity hard drive like this 18 terabyte Ironwolf Pro, or a fast SSD like an M.2 or two and a half inch drive, whatever, and you want to make sure that it's fully functional and it's actually what you thought you bought. The first thing I would do is enter your drive serial number at your drive manufacturer's website, especially if it's a new disk. It's usually a straightforward process, and even a used disk can have some warranty remaining. Now you connect your disk to your computer and you start up Windows. And then you go into Windows Explorer. If it doesn't detect it, then you can go ahead and initialize it from disk management and go ahead and create a new partition or new volume from there. Run Crystal Disk Mark if you want to get a good idea of your overall disk performance. Also, if you do a full disk sweep with a DD in Linux, you can get a good idea for overall write performance of your disk there. And you can verify the disk model and serial number using WMIC in the command line or also get-CMI instance uh, in PowerShell or just use Crystal Disk Info and make your life easier. Uh, you, then after that, you should do a full disk write and read of the disk. And for a hard drive especially, you can do a full disk format and either do that through the uh, disk management or Windows Explorer or from the command line, doesn't matter. Just make sure you deselect the quick format option. This ensures there are no bad sectors and everything is in good shape. Keep in mind that this will wipe the entire disk contents. And then when that's done, you can go do a full read and you can do that by using a check disk slash r slash f from the command line or use one of the third party tools to do a long smart test like HDD scan or tools or the smart line tools command line application. Now after you do a full disk write, and as well as after a full disk read, you should verify that your smart info is OK in Crystal Disk Info. And then to detect if your SSD capacity is correct and that it's not a fake, you can use H2 TestW in Windows, or you can use the F3 probe command within Linux. At this point, as long as everything comes back clean in Crystal Disk Info, uh, your hard drive should be good to go. Now for an SSD, you should consider over provisioning by 20%. So essentially shrinking your uh, volume to 80% of the size capacity of your SSD, and then make a new partition in the extra 20%. Go ahead and trim both of those, then let it idle for a few hours. Then after those few hours, delete that extra partition, then you should be good to go. While this may sacrifice some usable capacity, it can help extend the life of your SSD and maintain performance over time. If you are using an SSD through USB, Ensure that it supports the UASP protocol, which you can confirm through Crystal Disk Info. This will allow ATA commands to be sent to the SSD, like trim, which are important to the health of your SSD. Without it, it will treat the SSD like a hard drive, which can greatly reduce the life of your SSD. There are also paid third-party apps like Hard Disk Sentinel and StapleBit Scanner that are worth looking into. Now, if you want to go ahead and do the write and read situation in Linux, uh, create your bootable USB drive with a Gparted and Rufus, and then you can use the DD command within Linux command line for a full disk write. Like the Windows full format, this will wipe the entire disk content. And then also use the smart control uh, dash T long command in order to do the full disk read. You can check the status of the current smart test being run by using smart control dash A slash dev slash SDB or whatever drive letter is, pipe, grep. In quote, self-test execution, make sure you use a capital S, it's case sensitive, then dash capital A2 to show the next two lines after this. So there you can see that this test is 90% of tests remaining. You can also check the history of your smart test by typing smart control dash L self-test slash dev slash SDB or drive letter, whatever it is. And there you can see the history of the smart tests that were run for that specific drive. And then lastly, you can use the F3 probe command to detect for a fake uh, capacity SSD. Now that you've validated that your hard drive or SSD is healthy, for regular maintenance, I would just run a smart test periodically, maybe once every month or two. And for SSDs, I would manually run a trim with Windows defrag and optimize drives every so often. Or you can manually trim it through the command line option, defrag drive letter slash L. And if desired, you can schedule this with test scheduler with that command line option to run on a regular basis as the defrag and optimize drives GUI scheduler does not seem too reliable. So that is all there is for now. I hope this information was helpful, and until next time, talk to you later.